Hey, this is Damon with Haggerty and a Redline Rebuild Updates. Back at her on the 1950 Chevy pickup truck here. And today we're gonna start after kind of uh, making some adjustments to this bed. Specifically, it's not attached anymore because everything is completely rotted out as, you, as you'll see here. So I have some new center rails for it. And again, we're just gonna shore this up. I'm not after a restoration but uh, it would be nice to actually set something in the bed of the truck and not have it fall through to the ground. Um, general process today is going to be, again, taking out the old rails, getting rid of them. And then these running boards, you can see they've, they've uh, the, the mount is broke. Now they sell brand new mounts. You can go get those, they're riveted in. Um, what I'm gonna do for this pickup truck actually is just take a jack, lift it up back in position, and I'm gonna weld the daylights to it back to the frame, and it will certainly suffice. Now, for those of you that want us to restore this truck, I am gonna do some sandblasting today on the frame, specifically around where I'm gonna weld because I can't get a grinder in there to get the metal cleaned up well, and if it's all rusty, it won't, uh, it won't wanna take real well, and I wanna get a good bite with the welder, so I'm gonna roll this out into the parking lot, hit it with a sandblaster, clean up just that little area, and then put some weld to it. Um, that's the first step. Second step then will be to, like I said, take all these other rails out and start getting everything laid in. braces are now welded back together uh, and I tell you what it made a substantial difference so now instead of being able to lift this up about four inches it's nice and solid and it'll even take a lot of weight we have two out of our three crossbars in they're bolted down blocks are in I'm moving on to the front I have a little problem here though this front panel's obviously rotted off about two inches or better, and uh, it needs to connect to this uh, cross beam. So what I'm going to do is, is go get a chunk of steel that will come down, angle across, and then straight down. And then I can, I can spot weld it to this panel and then bolt it to this one. Then that front end will be done. Then we'll get the back end cut out, put that new piece in, then the next step will be to take and get some wood and fill it all the way across with slats, similar to what this is. It gives you a mock-up thickness. And I will figure out something for that. Nice. And here we are. Look at that. That's what we're really after. How about that?
All right, so I just wrapped up putting the front brace back in. It's all locked down. It is tack welded up to the face of the bed. So now we're actually attached, at least the face of the bed is attached. And then I come back through with the torch and torched out all the old stuff back here and that rail that was in here. Um, now, this is ugly. Again, we're not restoring this. We're making it work, okay? If you're a farmer, you understand that. You fix things to make it work to the next day. It's not gonna be pretty, but it's gonna be functional. That's what I'm after here. Uh, there's certainly right ways and wrong ways to fix things. One of them would be to strip this bed right off and get a brand new one and stick it on here. Um, but that's not what I'm after. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put a piece in here. Okay, what's missing is a wood. So we're gonna have a piece of wood in here. That's the bed. Okay, so there'll be wood slats going across. That wood will sit here. I'm gonna put a piece of steel in here, kind of like it was. And it's gonna be a little bit taller than this one. It's gonna actually come up about five and a half inches up. That'll shore up the side of this bed as far as the bed to this rail. And we'll kind of eliminate that flapping function. Now, I'm real tempted just to flat out get rid of this piece. And that may be what I do is cut this right out of here. It's not really doing anything for me right now, uh, obviously. Best case is I have to put another piece in here to kind of hold it to itself, but I'm gonna look at that a little bit closer. It looks to me like there's only one spot where it actually functions and it holds this, holds the outer fender to the box side. So if I had a piece of metal that went from here to here, right, and connected this to here, then my fender's not gonna fall off. This stuff doesn't do anything. It gets out of its way, actually cleans things up. It'll even make it easier to reach the dirt fitting. Uh, and I can do the same thing on the front because it doesn't attach again until the very front. So uh, I think that's my plan of attack. Again, we're gonna throw the board in here. Going to put a piece up on there to hold the board down or give it that edge and really hold the box sides up. And then last to shore this up is getting this new piece cut in here and uh, attached here, of course, attached to the rails. Now, again, we're not restoring this. We're trying to make it function. I cheated and basically bought the uh, aftermarket piece that I could pop in here and not have to fabricate everything. And uh, for the price of it, it made sense.
Not only the tailgate is on, okay, but we've also stiffened up our side rails on this bed. Now, this is certainly an exercise of how to get it done. Not necessarily make it pretty, just make it work. So one of the things I was fighting with without completely re you know, redoing these bed rails is how I can piece them together enough to function. And of course, this bottom corner was rotted out like they all are. And what it, ultimately what I did is I took a piece of inch and a half angle iron and pushed it down through the bed stake and reattached it to this, the rear uh, brace for the bed and basically welded everything back together and now it's nice and solid. Did the same thing on that side. Had to make a little bit of a patch panel in here. Uh, it's not, this is not ready for body work or paint, uh, but it is ready to go down the road. And we'll shoot a little bit of black paint or green paint on there just to kind of blend things in. Um, but I was talking about for the bed, how I'm gonna have all the wood slats in here, uh, just some roughs on, and that I needed to have a piece of angle bent up to put over here on the side. So what I'm going to do is this is our piece of angle. And I got a couple boards in here just to kind of mock things up. And that's how I'm gonna clean up that inside edge relative to the box. And again, just to make it functional, I can uh, fill the bed full of peanuts now and they won't fall out. So that's a step in the right direction. Um, so at that, I'm kind of stuck a little bit because I can't, well, based on uh, today's economic circumstances, uh, the local shop here that does uh, wood, uh, rough sawn wood is backlogged like crazy. Um, and I'm waiting for wood for the, for the bed. And yes, I could go buy a kit. That's not what I want. I just want some rough sawn lumber to make it work so this can be functional as a pickup truck again. And uh, so until then, what I'm going to do is just have this prepped. I need to take and put a little notch in here and clean some things up. And then also, uh, you can see I already have a mark here. I'm gonna take and clean this up uh, with a grinder so I can basically uh, uh, rosebud all the way through all these and uh, I should say rosette weld. I'll put holes through this panel and, uh, and then attach it to this runner here. And uh, that'll shore that back up. But I don't want, I'm not gonna finalize this as far as install welded in until that wood decking is laid out because it sets on top of it. Um, but really until that point, uh, I'm a little bit stuck. But I got some grinding to do, I'm gonna get dirty and then it'll be time to go home and take a shower, so, which will be long overdue. Uh, hey, get out in the garage though, get your work done, go enjoy the day, enjoy your truck, your car, your motorcycle, whatever it might be that tickles your fancy, and go have fun. See ya. <laughs>